Hi, it's JT and welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. So we've taken our um, California down to have its uh, annual service and because you're dealing with a commercial van centre when you take vehicle in, if you ask for a loan vehicle then almost certainly you're going to get a van as a courtesy vehicle. So um, I've been lent today a brand new delivery mileage um, T6.1 um, panel fan, very basic but I just thought it was my first opportunity to experience the T6.1 interior and see the changes between my own T6 so I thought uh, you might be interested to see the differences and um, my thoughts about whether they're improvements or maybe even step back over what the T6 gives. So the first most noticeable thing that you come in touch with is um, is the key. Um, completely different key to the T6. In fact, uh, this is the same sort of key that is used in Audi A1s and Volkswagen Polos and Golfs as well. Not quite sure what the middle button does, but obviously usual lock and unlock functions. So getting in to the van, this is a fairly basic uh, trim level van. Biggest, most obvious difference straight away is the dashboard. Completely different to that from RT6. Uh, new design steering wheel with the brand new Volkswagen logo. There's been a lot of debate about whether people like or dislike that. I think it's quite cool. The overall layout of the controls is exactly what you'd expect to see but much much sharper design to the dash appearance. This one is fairly standard trim so it doesn't have the digitized dashboard and then we have the touch screen center panel. So I like the new display of the dials, it's a more modern um, up-to-date display and again probably reminiscent of that which you see on current Golf and Polos. I haven't had the chance to see the new fully digitised T6 dashboard. The steering wheel is really nice, again very modern take and with the controls on the left hand side for audio, some of the trip computer functions, scroll through and you can change the displays that you see in the centre using these buttons here, the assist functions on the side, so the new logo and on the right hand side your trip information displays. There seems to be an awful lot of functions that you can access and see using the new steering wheel controls. Indicator and wiper stalks have been changed again nice feel and the steering wheel itself has got a nice rubberized feel to it that feels a little bit higher quality than our current T6. What I'm not sure about is the plastics. These plastics seem to be harder and a little bit um, less high quality as the ones we've got the comfort dash that we paid extra for in our California. Now again I appreciate this is the, the standard um, dash level but uh, cheaper quality plastics doesn't feel that um, they belong certainly if it was in a California I'd be a little bit disappointed if uh, this was the same quality of dash materials. Um, you've lost the closed glove box uh, on the top here there's a little pen tray under here and then glove box slot underneath. A um, cup holder has relocated so we haven't got the sliding drawer that you've got on the T6 and there's two USB charging points just next to it which again is a good feature um, from my point of view it was a bit of a downside as these are new USB C connectors so when we got into plugging our traditional USB lead um, it wouldn't fit so I wasn't able to use the uh, app connect function and use sat nav on the screen because the connector wouldn't work so again it'd be i think that's a backward step i think you should have an old style usb socket and then a new style usb c as well so if there is a usb socket hidden in the van somewhere i haven't found it yet 
and we have had a, a good look around but that was a real bit of a nuisance when getting in we weren't able to use navigation because as a fairly standard van it's not fitted on this model so controls we got touch buttons down the side and then a touch screen as well so combination of touch screen and buttons which is good fairly small screen but again with the different functions again some of it's very reminiscent of what we've got in the t6 but um, you can see it definitely bears its roots in the current Volkswagen passenger cars ventilation controls on our California we've got again upgraded ventilation so this is just the standard setting no climate control but nice feel to the dials but again slightly lower quality this one's got even though fairly um, entry level it's got a heated screen and six speed manual gearbox have to say it drives really well the ride this is a two litre diesel 150 ps engine and it's only done it's only showing 84 miles in total on the odometer so it's literally brand new not even run in but it feels and drives really well and gave really good fuel economy on the way back as well but i did miss the dsg gearbox but this uh, van that we drove is also a um, full commercial panel van so behind us we've got the um, bulkhead so metal bulkhead fixed in place so whilst adding great security and safety if you're a delivery driver and um, noticed a certain uh, certain increase in the noise levels when we were driving back from the dealership with it I don't sure I'm sure that Harry felt that he was enjoying the drive in a van maybe a bit like being a postman or a delivery driver but uh, it certainly feels it makes you very enclosed and um, safe so clearly that wouldn't be something that you would have on a um, a California or a Caravelle or any passenger derivative that you'd buy but if you're buying one of these with a view to converting it again just be mindful that uh, you need to be planning to remove that out. Another feature that's new is up in the top here we've got an SOS function to dial through for emergency assistance and uh, the breakdown assistance function as well so my understanding is that's now a standard feature on new all new transporters and transporter derivatives so a great safety feature incorporated an embedded sim within the van so one thing this cabin definitely is good at is storage yeah, there's loads of little storage cubbies all around so on the top of the dash we've got two cup holders on either end front open glove box a pen tray along underneath another glove box under here pockets upper and lower in the door cards dash top storage here so tradesmen will absolutely love that perfect for keeping all sorts of 12 volt power socket and another little pen tray under here and then your the cup holder stroke storage cubby down just to the left of the gear lever the door cards are similar in their layout and display but again the quality of the materials and plastic it doesn't seem to be quite as good as it is on our T6 so I don't know if that's a Volkswagen cost-cutting measure and then um, again with the the, the finish on the, some of the switch gear and options but it would be interesting to have a look and see at a California or similar and see how that stacks up as a comparison one thing I did notice when driving it, and yes, this is a manual as opposed to our um, DSG, there's no obvious footrest. And I've seen on uh, clutch footrest, I've seen on a few of the forums that uh, this is something that appears to have been dropped on the T6.1. And again, if that was the case on the DSG, that would uh, certainly make a big difference to the comfort when you're driving. 
but overall for a panel van as I said drives really well engine performs well and it's really good to get the experience and feel for what these new T6.1s are like and ultimately what the California is based on. So a quick walk around there of this T6.1 van, the main dashboard differences between this and our current T6 California. Thanks for watching and if you enjoy the videos I'm putting together here on Camper Van Journey, remember to click the button to like and subscribe and there'll be much more content from me mainly about camping and camper vans very soon. Thanks for watching.